I'm going to show you the antics I'm up to working with uh, a building envelope design here that I don't want any interruptions in. And uh, this is sometimes what I'll do, but prior to crews coming, we'll do what I call the really difficult areas. And so what we've got here is an assembly in a two by eight rafter space, okay? Now to be fair, there is, there's a little layer of half inch plywood on top. So we do get an extra half inch. And that's because I have a plywood deck here, but as it meets the edge of the roof, that's all one by 12 pine. And so at least the framing, sorry, the framing and the structure here is all on one elevation. I don't make a step for different sheathing. Well, Cause you could technically cover the whole thing. Now these are continuous vented. And of course they're sealed, right? Uh, you can see oh, that the vents come in because there's no soffits on this building right here and that vent is actually part of the uh, part of the wall assembly there's a little screen area and it steps out and it vents up the wall and then comes into there and then would continue on those and so I needed to do that before I could finish my electrical and there's been a lot of people that they're you know you don't want any electrical if you if you can help it within your cavities when you're doing this type of work so up here, I have to have R30 in an uncathedral ceiling. And uh, that size bad insulation would not fit inside that cavity and provide me with a ventilated roof, which I think you never should not have a ventilated roof unless you're gonna use tin or something like that where it's not affected by the heat. But even if it is, the cooling effect of air flowing and it goes up through uh, gable end vents and the whole ridge here connection will all be vented. That actually reduces the load for heat in spaces like that. We're also using reflective foil towards the room. R22, another foil. These are three quarters. So two of them are gonna give me seven and a half. And 22, I'm a half short, but I am strapped, and there's an airspace between the reflective foil on the ceiling, which will actually, I think, be much better. And, of course, there's no thermal bridging. So, you know, is that worth a half an hour value? <laughs> At any rate, um, just easier for me to do this type of work before I build the closet and make sure everything's seamless, including, you know, the plug coming out. That way we can stick just our two by four now against the wall. And then I just foam that. And that's just taped together like this with blue tape. And it is taped into the one even below, if you look back in there, it's taped into the one that folds up and folds down and also around and just blue tape, super six. I don't know why super six gets such a, a bad rap. We are using that as the foil and vapor barrier. And we taped, before we put the strapping, little pieces, little triangles. You can see them on that one so that we can finish up. Uh, once again, Roxwell, I think you need to cut nice and neat. It's not really a packing. It's not like pink, I don't think. You want at least its orientation this way. It is fibrous this way. It's So I don't think you'd ever want to stuff stuff vertically. And... Uh, so hopefully I can finish the wiring, which I did all this is to finish the wiring. I have three phase up here and uh, controls. You can see them coming out of the floor. That's 15 horsepower, 240 volt three phase. Plus I'll probably use these little closets, which this space is pretty much useless. But you did see me how I did the uh, the uh, corners, as I said in another video, I'll be manufacturing my own corner bead that'll be plastered in. Some designs will be put in on the walls, but I got to get the electrical. I got to get her insulated. I've got a mini split to install and it's, it's coming on Christmas. 
anyway, sorry for uh, not keeping you guys abreast. This is what I've been doing. Thanks for watching.